Congratulations on the significant anniversary. So many lives are so much better because of one act 22 years ago. This is indeed a moment to celebrate. I was in Washington earlier today, and I'm sorry I cannot be with you this afternoon. You're, you're part of an important momentum that must continue to improve the lives of people with disabilities. Now, just last week, I became chair of the National Governors Association, and I announced that my initiative over the next year will be focusing on jobs for people with disabilities. The statistics are sobering. Iowa's terrific senior Senator Tom Harkin recently released a report that said employment outcomes for people with disabilities have not improved since 1990. That between 2008 and 2010, workers with disabilities left the workforce at five times the average rate. That the median income for these workers is less than two thirds the median wages for other workers. Advancing employment opportunities for individuals with disabilities is the right thing to do as a society. It's a smart thing for government to do. And it makes good business sense. Making a difference in these numbers will not be easy, but the work is important. I was moved by a conversation I had with a young man about nine years ago, which became the inspiration for my initiative. I visited what was then MBNA, now Bank of America, at a facility in Newark, Delaware. There, the company employed about 300 people with disabilities who were responsible for a variety of tasks, including making promotional materials. I met a young man, about 25 years old, who was making t-shirts, and I asked him what he did before he got that job. He told me he sat at home for six years watching TV with his parents. A light bulb went off in my head. This job not only offered him a paycheck, but significantly improved his quality of life. He had a greater purpose, the ability to be part of a team and to be part of something bigger than himself. And for his family, this job meant he had some place to go something meaningful to do, and support outside his family network. And in turn, their quality of life improved as well. His story and countless others that I've met over the years led to my National Governors Association Chairman's Initiative called A Better Bottom Line, Employing People with Disabilities. And by this time next year, we'll have created a blueprint for businesses and states that identifies best practices and outline steps that can be put in place to increase economic opportunity and heighten awareness. It will provide governors and state policymakers with more options to assess the environment in their state and specific strategies designed to support this population. It does not matter whether someone was born with additional challenges to face or, as in the case of our wounded veterans, for example, acquire them later in life. There are so many people with disabilities who have the time, the talent, and the desire to make meaningful contributions to interested employers. What matters is what they have to offer and the tremendous impact this will have on the overall well-being and on the bottom line of the businesses that employ them. I know that you are making an important difference in this area across the country, and I hope that you'll join me in this initiative. Congratulations on your great work and the efforts to continually improve the lives of people around you.